Hey guys, it's Sunny with Parents on Demand. And in today's video, we're going to talk all about Megaphone. You've probably heard me talk about Megaphone in the past, but I wanted to kind of wrap up what exactly Megaphone is and why you should really consider being part of the Megaphone family. So um, as you came to the network, you were probably already on a podcast host provider. You're probably using someone, perhaps Libsyn or Podbean. SoundCloud, there's a bunch of different providers out there. And Megaphone is an alternative to those providers. Now I know what you're thinking, right off the bat, you're like, Sunny, oh my goodness, I just figured out how to use Lipson or whatever service you're using now, why would I switch? Well, that's the whole point of today's video. I wanna to talk to you about the benefits because I personally think that Megaphone is the best podcast host provider out there. They don't pay me to say that. I don't get a discount for saying that, but I want to help your show grow and be as popular and, you know, the best possible show that you can put out there. And part of doing that, I believe, is putting your content on megaphone. So why do I say that? First of all, as a member of Parents on Demand, you can bring your show onto Megaphone for free, which means we take over your host costs. So whatever you're paying now for your podcast host provider, it's usually X amount of dollars per month, or sometimes they charge you based on um, the amount of downloads or something like that. That's all wiped away because the moment you come onto Megaphone, we take over those costs. There's no transfer costs, no nothing like that. And you can cancel whatever subscription or service that you're using. So you're gonna save money right off the bat, plus the Megaphone service is absolutely free. Now you may be thinking, that sounds good, but how do I get my content onto Megaphone? I cannot imagine having to re-upload all of my episodes. Good news, you don't have to do that. And we won't be doing that for you either because that is painstakingly horrible and I would never wish that on my worst enemy. We actually take, before you cancel your other service, we take your RSS feed and we're able to pull all of that content over to Megaphone. So no re-uploading is needed. It's a very simple process. And then you actually go back into your current host provider and you reroute the feed. So any place that you've put your RSS feed, perhaps you've submitted to Spotify, you've submitted to different places. We basically need to reroute those feeds to go to your new feed. And when you do that, it's instantaneous. And then all of those sources will now pull from your megaphone, your new megaphone RSS feed. And then you're going to start to upload all your new episodes to megaphone. So the process is really simple. And because you're part of our network, I help you through that entire process, which makes it sound like it's a big thing. It's not a big thing, but I know it really does help to know that there's somebody that's on your side that will help guide you through all of that. So it's free and it's super easy to move all your content over. Some of the other features that I really think make Megaphone the best podcast host provider out there. First of all, as you know, as a network, we focus on dynamic ads. You probably heard me talk about this before, but dynamic ads basically takes what television and radio have been doing a long time and they've made a lot of money doing, which is the ability to drop in an ad in a show and take it out whenever you want, as opposed to recording your show and recording the message directly into your show where you can't really take it out. I guess you could go back and edit it, but honestly, who's really going to do that? So Megaphone has the best tools for dynamic insertion. And honestly, you know, part of my job as network director of Parents on Demand is to help guide our members to what's up and coming in podcasting. I know some of you may be doing the embedded ads now or the uh, baked in ads. Sometimes that's what they're called. That's not where the industry is going. That's usually how things kind of start out. It's like ham radio versus regular radio, right? Um, in the early ham radio days where people recording, you know, content directly into their stuff. Yeah, probably. But as we got more and more sophisticated, like you don't see that happening now, right? Everything's pretty much dynamically dropped in. And that's where podcast is going to. So part of this is me helping to educate our members to say, listen, if you're really serious about making money with your show, you have to consider dynamic ads. The beauty of this transitional phase that we're in right now is with our ad revenue share program, you can still, if you're totally set on doing ads and you already have sponsors and you know, you're working ads into your show that way where you're just reading them in and they're the baked in ads, 
keep doing that. That's fine. If that is your bag, like keep doing it. If it's working for you, this would be something you could do on top of that. So with dynamic ads, Megaphone has amazing statistics. It has the information again that you know, advertisers are looking for that are used to advertising on radio and television. These are the big advertisers we need to come on board in podcasting. So, you know, we can make more money doing the things that we love to do. The next feature I wanted to talk to you about is something called promos. So promos allow you to run a promo. So something that's not a paid for ad, something you want to promote in any spot that you have in your show. So maybe it's a pre-roll, post-roll or a mid-roll. And you can assign that to run and it will go out across all your episodes. So this is why it's so good for you guys. I know a lot of you have written books or you've got a big announcement or something that you're trying to make. Wouldn't it be nice if it were really easy to notify all of your listeners, you know, for your podcast about this new service or something that you're offering? That's exactly what this does. So you can put it across all of your episodes at once. You can take it off whenever you want. So if you had a book launch coming up and you wanted to just tease the book launch part of it, but not that it, the book was already out there. So we just set the dates. You can record what you want. It'll go across all of your episodes. Another great thing is um, for those of you involved in the cross promotional side of our network and how we cross promote with other shows on our network, like it's really easy to drop in somebody's promo and uh, be able to take it out at the end of the month. So you you don't have to worry about. That's something we can actually do for you to really make the whole cross promotional side of things really easy. And a promo is not going to run um, instead of an ad. So it, it's smart enough to be able to detect and be like, oh, this spot is open. There's no uh, ad running in this spot. So it'll drop the promo. And then tomorrow, if suddenly that spot is taken, your promo is not going to run. You're going to make money on your ad. And so that is a, an amazing feature. So that's the promos. It has something, Megaphone has something called MTM, which stands for Megaphone Targeted Marketplace. And this is truly unique in the podcasting space. As I mentioned before, we're trying to get more and more advertisers to come on board and to take a chance really and, and test out podcasting as a viable advertising source. What MTM is, is it's a way for advertisers to come on board and not necessarily say, oh, I want to advertise on this show, this show, this show, and this show, but it's more about paying for the demographic. The next question probably is going to be, well, how do I know who those advertisers are and how do those end up on my show? It is true. You have a little less control over that. Basically, if you want to be part of this program, we give you a bunch of categories and you go through, okay, I would like to have you know, ads on my show from this type of category or no, definitely not this category. So none of those people will be able to see your show as an option when they're going through and selecting. This is inventory that would normally go unsold. And Megaphone is the only uh, resource that I'm aware of, at least at this point, that is offering that service. And the other thing with Megaphone is the amazing customer service. I don't know if you guys have experienced bad customer service when it comes to software or something that you're doing online for your show, but that is the worst. You know, something's wrong, something's wrong with your feed, or you don't know how to do something. And it may be days before you hear back from someone in customer service. And Megaphone has a live chat, and there are like three or four guys and girls that rotate and are part of that chat. I know them all. I think they're all on the East Coast. During normal business hours, I get answers in like three minutes. So they're just awesome and they're willing to help you out any way possible. So those are the features, the dynamic ads and the ability to insert and do all that amazing stuff. The promo section, MTM, which is the megaphone targeted marketplace and just that amazing customer service. So again, not hard to switch over. If this is of interest at all to you, please let me know. I'm happy to hop on zoom and to chat with you a little bit more about it, discuss your show specifically, but I am trying to get as many people over to this platform as possible. I think it is the future of podcasting. And I know sometimes we like to kind of, there's so many things we as independent podcasters have to figure out and learn on our own that, you know, when you think you have something figured out and someone comes and says, Hey, let's just uproot everything and try something else. I know that feeling of wanting to stick your feet in the mud. I go, I am not moving, but pr I promise you, this is a good investment of your time. And there is no investment money wise, right? You're already part of the network. That was your financial commitment. So I hope that explains Megaphone a little bit more. Happy to, you know, to, 
to chat, to chat more about it and uh, see if it's a good fit for your show.